Hello, Corona Cation, and welcome to day 24 of what? Oh. this. Andrew, I know what's up. What's up? You are. I'm upside down. But why? Because we're in upside down. We're in a new series. It's uh, April, man, all about humility. Okay, Be why don't humble. you turn yourself back upside right? But we have a show to do today, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Okay, that that actually feels better. So, does the blood rush to your head? I don't know how it works for bald. People. It's digital blood, so it doesn't work the same. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. All right, well, Andrew, it's spring break, yeah, and we wanted to yeah. share some ideas, things that you can do to just enjoy yourself this week, things that you can do yeah. uh, maybe outside, maybe inside. Um, but we got some ideas for you. So, Andrew, what's the first idea you want to share? Okay, so we've already done this, but I still think it's a great idea. Um, you could build a fort. And while we did one inside for church the other day, you can make outside forts too. So you can do indoor, outdoor forts. Ooh, outdoor fort sounds like an option awesome there. Idea. Um, you can play a board game or even yep. make your own board game. How creative would that be? What else, Andrew? Uh, you can create a dance. I am personally not a good dancer, but you could make a dance. Just turn your favorite song on, get a little boogie in your shoes, dance it off. I like it. And if you missed Sunday, uh, Victor taught us a dance. You can go back and check that out. That's right. Um, let's see. You could also bake a cake. If you've never done that before, you got to follow the instructions. Make sure you know the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. They're That's very good. different when you're cooking. Good. It's a good hands-on project right there. Uh, you get outside, go on a nature walk. That could be, you know, just around your neighborhood. It could be on a trail, could be through the woods. Ooh, or you can make a race. I like to build like an obstacle course and then challenge somebody to that race. See how you do. Yeah, could do that. Uh, you could do a family movie night. Okay. Make uh, some popcorn, you know. Bonus the family points, if you can do it outside, how cool would that be? Oh yeah, that would be cool. Movie, I think that'd be fun. Um, you could build a tower, like out of anything. I've seen some people do it with marshmallows and- Out of anything, Corey? Spaghetti. Yeah, pretty much. Just it might be more difficult if you use like living pets or something like that. Oh, that's true. Hey, you could camp out in the living room and maybe that's in the fort that you made. We've done that before. That sounds fun. Um, you could paint each other's faces. Uh, just make sure you don't use permanent marker. That, oh, would, that be would be horrible. Bad. What you else, could, You could write a story together. That could kind of go in as like some extra homework practice. I know it's spring break, but we could always be trying to get better at our at our uh, schooling. I like learning. it. Those are some awesome ideas. Now let's try to um, spit fire some real quick. Okay, back and forth. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. You first. Uh, have a tea party. Learn something new. Gaze at the stars. Climb a tree. Uh, have a pajama party. Eat a picnic dinner. Write a musical song. Do a secret act of kindness. Put on a sock puppet. Draw yourself, uh, draw a self portrait. Uh, get a deck of cards and build one of those tower things. Uh, I'm running out of ideas. Um, exercise. <laughs> exercise, no one wants to do that. All right, so those are a bunch of ideas for you to do. Um, if you're bored, you, you haven't been thinking, you, you haven't been using your brain to come up with something to do. So uh, use your brain. Uh, maybe, right. Andrew, Andrew. You're smart, use your brain. We didn't what? even mention like reading the Bible. Oh man. Oh my gosh. We're better than that, Corey. We are better than that. Um, have you read any with your boys recently? Yes, we have. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, we're getting ready to see Jesus being crucified on Sunday. That's what we're going to be learning about is crucifixion and resurrection. Um, that should be pretty easy to find in your Bible. New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, kind of near the end of all of those books. 
Yep. It's a very important story. All right, so Andrew, we are in our uh, day 24, and today we have a couple of different guests. Our first one is a video um, from one of your volunteers. My volunteers? One of your all-star volunteers. Um, of course, they're she, the best. She, uh, uh, I tried to give clues without like spoiling it for you. Um, her last name's Ebensberger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how's that clue? Uh, um, which Ebensberger? I, I think she has a nickname, uh, like oh, J yeah, this is J12. 12. This has got to be J12. It's got to be J12. All right, let's turn it over. J12 started. Yeah, let's turn it over to Miss Cameron and uh, check it out. Hey guys, it's Cameron. How are you doing today? Um, I just wanted to give you a couple words of encouragement while we're in this time that we're in right now. It's a great opportunity to spend time with your family, play card games, play board games, um, go outside, run around your house, get a good workout in, jump on the trampoline, throw some balls, kick some balls, and um, it's really a good opportunity to get close with the Lord in this time that we're in right now. Um, you can spend some time reading your Bible and... Um, do devotions with your family, with your life groups, small groups, whatever it is. Stay connected with friends and family. Call and check up, check up in on them. Um, and right now, one of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13 because it says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And even though we're in this time that we're in right now, um, no matter what's going to happen, what's, what we're going through, we can always depend on Christ um, and His strength to get us through us. So I just wanted to give you a couple words of encouragement and th through all of this that we're going through. Bye. Sometimes life feels like a banana skydiving without a parachute. Everything around you is moving so fast. You feel like you, you can't slow down. You worry so much because you don't have control of what is happening around you. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which seeds anything we can understand. So the next time you're feeling stressed, just pray, God, without you, I'm like a banana hurtling towards the ground. I need your help. Thank you for everything. Maybe God will give you a parachute. Or better yet, a jetpack. Not everything in life makes sense. That's why we need God. All right, let's play a game. This game is called... Some lumberjacks are very skilled, but some are not. Your job is to decide if you think the lumberjack is skilled, if he nailed it, or if he failed it. You vote right alongside Andrew and see if you can win. Let's see, I have a feeling that... Okay, I think that he failed. Let's see. Okay, it hasn't stopped yet, wait. Oh, oh, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Uh, ew, is it gonna go straight through there? Nailed it. It's falling right on line. He's got it, he nailed it. Go, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. That was impressive. Wow. Well done, well done. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's going right for the house. Failed it, miserably failed it. Here it goes, and it's going the wrong way! Oh my gosh! Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Oh no. Well, 
I don't think I got that. Bad news. That was not good at all. Hmm. Okay. Oh, is he cutting into a pickup truck? This has got. This is bad news. This has got bad written all over it. I'm. T this. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's too big. It's too big. It may be successful into the truck, but it's gonna. It's gonna do damage. Oh, and it's moving. Um. Oh. This doesn't look good. Failed it. Failed it. Oh. Hmm. Huh. This looks interesting. What's going on? He's way up there. Oh, 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 oh. Nailed it. I'm going. Nailed it. That was close. Well done. Ooh. Um. Failed. I should, I think the guys up in the trees are it's probably a good call. Those guys know what they're doing. Failed it. Failed it. Oops. No good. Okay, the straps are pulling it away. Does this guy look like he knows what he's doing or not? I don't know. Oh, he nailed it. He nailed it. Does he know what he's doing? Does he know what he's doing? Well done. Well done, my friend. Okay, this guy's up on a ladder. This is, it's gonna knock him off. I just, I got a feeling. Oh, oh. This is, oh, he's not up there. Failed it. He failed it. Oh, what's gonna happen? The suspense is killing me. Well done. Nice. Good job, dude. Oh, that's a funky looking tree in between two houses. Hmm. Uh oh, there's a building back there. He failed it. He failed it. This is bad. Yeah, crushed, crushed it, crushed it. Oh. Failed it, failed it. It's going right for that house. Oh, 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 it knocked him off. Oh, that, that last one was scary. How'd you guys do? Corey, that was pretty cool, the lumberjack thing. That was pretty cool because uh, this past week, we've had some lumberjacks down the road that have been cutting some really, really tall pine trees down, and they did an exceptional job. They nailed every one of them. We got to watch from our driveway. We got to watch them fall. It was really cool. It was really cool, you know, when you, when you practice things um, and you get really good at something, you can become professional at it. That's just, that's just a little bit of extra advice, you know, which... During coronation, it's good to uh, practice something new, learn something new that you could get good at. Just saying. Hey, I am excited to continue this week with you guys. It's spring break. It's Holy Week. We're preparing for Easter. Um, some big things are coming. It's a, it's a big deal. Easter is a big deal. You know, Jesus rose from the dead. That's awesome. That is awesome. So we will see you tomorrow, and I hope that you see us. Love you guys.